I'm sick. Oh, no. Yeah, this is going to be real bad. <laughs> so when I start just, you know, playing delusional things, just be like, Nick, you're sick, shut up. <laughs> be like, okay. How are you guys? Not sick. Not currently sick. That's awesome. <laughs> my whole family is sick. And, uh, also, my toddler was just like gnawing on my shirt and drooling and coughing everywhere. <laughs> so I'm probably sick again. Oh no. <laughs> oh. But we're here. This is like very realistic board positions. This is a realistic board? Yeah. Yeah. I see. Yeah, this is like from a pro game. It's totally a pro game. This is the uh, Fujisawa versus Spring Taiho game. 1977. <laughs> Uh, absolutely not. No, today's topic is capturing races. And something that I thought would be nice to go over uh, is actually take some of the heuristics of capturing races and try to just learn them. Uh, mainly because Americans, at least American Go players, really like heuristics. They don't really like practicing reading, it turns out. Uh, you know, compared to the proper way to learn Go. So anyway, I'm thinking uh, this would be very valuable to you guys. You guys should. should be very enthused, right? Because you guys love learning heuristics. Oh, yeah. It's like the shortcut to learning how to play good go. <laughs> so I put up some positions. We'll get to all of them. We'll, we'll, we'll move some stones around. We'll do some variations on each one. Uh, but what do we have right here? Let's look at this one. What is going on? It's like a capturing race. It's totally a capturing race. And who's going to win this capturing race? One shared liberty. And then black has four. And then black seems to have more liberties. Yeah. Actually, this was kind of complicated. I should simplify this. Yeah. Uh, huh. the, 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 the favorite there is, I mean, I'm just using Richard Hunter's heuristics. Yeah. So he calls the favorite the one with the more outside liberties. Right. In this case, that's black. Right. And the underdog, the one with fewer. Right. Which is white. Yes. And um, then he says, okay, so in this type of thing, you give one of the inside liberties to black and two of them, and the rest of them, all of them to white. Oh, I see. And that's the, yeah, it's, it, 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 because see. black okay. gets that yes. one, that's the weird thing, right? Is you think, well, there's only two there. You have to give one to one, and you can't, like, give the liberty that isn't there, but in terms of the math, in terms of the something math, right. weird works out. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very good. That, I'm glad that, that's good. That clarifies it. Why this, this is the only area of go that I feel like I know at all. Honestly. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, that's good. You'll come in helpful. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't quite understand the heuristic. Yeah, so, I think, so I, I, think, I think what you're saying, right, is that we have these two inside liberties. When we're doing the math, we give all of them to the underdog. And you give but, one to black. But we also give one to black by default. So you have to look at the outside liberties. Who has more? Well, black, right? Four to three? Plus two for white. We're giving both both leads to white, so white ends up with five. But we always give one to black just as a bonus well, for in this in this type of in, the, in this type of in this type of shape. Yeah, we're going to change the shape in a moment. Things will go differently. Uh, so it's essentially five to five. And so whoever plays first, wh whoever plays first will be able to to win. Although I think right, even if white plays first, doesn't this go to second then? Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Right, 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 right. If I win here, the underdog, the best thing The underdog can, can play exactly. Seki, right. Exactly. They can live, but they don't have their territory. So. There we go. So you can see if white plays first, it ends up in Seki. If black plays first, black can kill. But to do the math on that, uh, you have to give these two liberties to white and a bonus liberty to black for it to work out. If we do this, what's the liberty count now? One still for black. So, oh, yeah. so six total for white. Yeah. Right. And five for black. Yeah. That and that I'm counting that as white is the underdog. Yep. And so if the underdog just has more liberties, period. Right. It's not a tie. It's just more liberties. It's always going to result in second. There's no way anyone can kill anyone. Yeah. Uh, and if I do this. Well, now, now who's the underdog or who's the favorite? It's tied. It's tied doesn't, so you can compute either way. You'll always get Saki. So, I mean, like in the previous cases, uh, are you giving, like, did you give 
one, two. Like if the position is exactly reversed, if it was white and black. Say, say this again? If the black was white and white was black, mm -hmm. then would you give one liberty to white or would still you you'd add? Yeah, you flip it. You flip it. Who, you, the, the underdog is determined by who has fewer outside liberties. Okay. Who has so fewer you, exclusive liberties. Uh, so so here, here's the deal. It's whoever has the better position can either kill or get a seki, right? But in order to kill, that you need to have basically, you need to be able to overcome the inside liberties. So for black to kill, we need to give both of these to white, and for black we get the four on the outside plus the one bonus. White we have two on the inside, three on the outside. So it turns out black can kill this, right? Because it's five to five, is if black plays first. But otherwise, it's going to be second. So the underdog can only kill second. The underdog can only get second. The underdog is never going to kill anything, ever. At least in this scenario. Yeah. Yeah. When we get to co scenarios, then there's some strange things can happen. Okay. Uh, and as we pointed out, like if we have this, right? Can this have rendered seki? Nope. Someone's always going to die. This math is quite easy. So, right. This is comparing the outside liberties. And obviously, if we look at zero shared liberties, is anyone going to die? <laughs> of course. So, in this case, black always has the advantage. Uh, we'll always kill. Like, even if white plays first in the scenario, right? It doesn't matter. Black will always kill first. You guys can see that? Yeah, when you, don't, when you have less than two liberties, the math is really easy, because two has more liberties. <laughs> We're going to die. Now, if we have two or more shared internal liberties, uh, then we have to add these to the underdog and give the favorite one. Is that cool? Is that helpful? Makes sense. Not excited at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, what happens if white has an eye? How many liberties does white now have? <clears throat> Five. How many does black have? Four. Four. Hey, your math is good. This is an entirely different situation. What we were just talking about was when two groups have no eyes. When one group has an eye, all the inside liberties belong to that group exclusively, no exceptions. No bonus, no, no new math. It's just they all go to the person with the eye. And so this is a very easy five to four. Can black ever overcome? If black plays first. Is there anything black can do? Nope. Because so. black can make it four to four. But now it's white's move. And you're like, ah, black, you can kill it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Uh-oh. Can't approach him. So that's a different situation. One. <coughs> Need to know. What if we give black an eye now? Let's just get crazy. Mm -hmm. Now who can kill him? Is it back to that Seki rule? It's totally back to the Seki rule. Where we have to give all the inside liberties to the underdog, or whoever we were calling the underdog. But there is no. And I don't think there's a bonus in this case, right? You know? Yeah, no, there's no bonus. But also in this, oh, there, there, there. Now there's something wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was going to throw it here uh, and make it a little uneven. So in this case, black has four exclusive liberties mm -hmm. and three shared. White has three, three exclusive liberties, three shared. White's the underdog. But again, for black to kill white, we need to count all these for white. So white, in effect, has six liberties. Is black ever going to kill white? Not so much. No. I think we only count three for black. I don't think, because the, the, the one, two, three, fourth four? one? Oh, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but four external. Yeah. Four external, right? Yeah. So this is really like six to four, right? There's, there, there, black's never gonna kill white. If we say white has the advantage, if we, even if we miscount, we're like, hey, white has more liberties, right? There's still not enough to kill black. This is too many liberties in the middle. So when you have an I versus an I, uh, there's at least two spaces here. You really do have to have quite a few uh, moves on the outside already filled in if you want to kill anything. Like, like chances are most I versus I groups end in Seki. I would guess at least 85%. Uh, as, long as, as long as they have a number of shared liberties. Dan is sleeping. 
that's that's how <laughs> unenthused he is about <laughs> capturing races. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, what if I change the size of these eyes? What if I do... I'll try to do something like this. Have you heard of a small eye versus big eye? That's not a big eye yet. Shh! <laughs> Have you heard that expression before? So does that change anything? Is this like the, uh, the I've heard before that like when you have the bigger eyes, your opponent will have to like throw stones in there, and then you'll capture their stones, and they'll put more stones in there, and they'll capture their stones, and so yes. eyes that have lots of liberties on the or, or lots of space on the inside actually take a long time to kill. That's right, and not only do they take a long time to kill, when we have a big eye versus a small eye, uh, they you can have a situation where it actually takes like infinite amount of time to kill. Oh. I mean, in practice, because you'll never be able to approach. Hmm. And we, we, can, we can look at some of those situations. Um, here, let's go over here. This is... What do we have over here? Very big eye. Very big eye. What do we have over here? Tiny eye. Tiny eye, but this group has a lot of liberties. And so... What happens? How many... I mean, look at all these liberties, right? It feels like we should be able to kill this. How many liberties does black have? Well, if you three, count right? Directly three. And how many does white have? Five. Five. So even if we give this shared liberty to black, it's like well, that makes it four to four. That means white can kill. Right? I'm guessing wrong. Though. Totally wrong. <laughs> Never gonna work. Let's try. Should we try? So fill in the liberty. Uh, what is let's say black fills in the liberty? Black has to capture that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No, no. There you go. Oh, oh, sorry. Why it's gonna play here? Captain. All right. You can actually already see the liberty count now. It's white to play. What's what's the liberty count? Four to three. Four to three. So I can make it three to three. But no bueno. You guys can see how black actually wins this by move. So what's the heuristic here? How many liberties does black actually have? Hmm? Is it eight? It is eight. So, no, sorry, it's not eight. I lied. It's eight minus four. It is eight plus minus four plus two. Plus two. <laughs> <laughs> but you got the first number in the equation, right? So where are we getting eight from? If I was getting eight from you've got three liberties, and then you're going to get three more when you remove the white ones, and then you're going to get two on top of that. Which is not so bad that it's nine. Um, I assume you're getting eight from taking off the capital step. So, so here's the thing with this. You might say, hey, look, there, this is actually, uh, well, it should be four, five liberties, huh? Yeah, there should be five liberties. Or just how you get it. Okay. Yeah, well, hold on. I know the heuristic. I actually don't know how to work it out. So the it's a recursive <laughs> equation. So. Right. So this. So when you have a space of five, this is eight liberties. You can just memorize that. If you have a five space, you have eight liberties. If white already has four stones inside, you do eight minus four. That's how you know. That's how you get to four liberties on this inside group. If we actually count it out. Uh, here, let's, let's, let's just play it out. I don't think about this stuff. One, uh, black does something, right? Two, three, four. On the fourth one, black has to capture them. <laughs> right? So it's really three. This fourth one doesn't count because white played a move, you played a move. Cancel out. Three moves. Okay. We have these four spaces left. One, two, Three, when white plays this one, what does black have to do? Play. Capture again, so this one doesn't count. This is really going to town. <laughs> All right, so we played three, we played two, that brings us up to five. And this is just a three space, this is just three liberties. One, two, three. So it's three plus two plus three. 
and that, that order we have to play. So that's really eight, that's how you get to eight liberties. And if you want to know the, the really uh, the simple heuristic, maybe it's not simple, it just involves memorization. If you have a space of four, that's five liberties. It's, assuming it's not, it's not a, a living space of four, right? You guys know your, how many liberties is this? Infinite. Infinite. It doesn't matter. Like, it's called two eyes. Okay. And if you have this kind of four space, that's five liberties. If you have a five space, that is eight liberties. If you have a six space, anyone know? Twelve. Twelve liberties, very good. And of course, you could say, well, that's just a living space, but usually what, you know, we're counting this with a white stone here and another white stone. So it's very rare that you ever actually get 12 liberties out of it. You usually get 12 minus probably two. So this is really a, you know, most often seen as a 10 space. But you start with 12 minus the number of white stones in it. So you have to know these numbers, 5, 8, 12. And in theory, if there was a 7 space, it should have 15, oh, sorry, 17 liberties. But the problem is that a 7 space will reduce to a 6 space, which is a live space, which is a living shape. Unless, oh no, I guess it's not. If it's, no, because you could have a 7 reduced to the, the bunny shape. Yeah, yeah, the gravity 6. Gravity. Yeah, so you have, if you have a 7 space that reduces to a gravity 6, that's 17 liberties. Minus whatever is filled in. Yeah, minus whatever is filled in. But still, even if you have 7 spaces and 6 of them are filled in, you still have 11 liberties like in this tiny little area, right? So that's pretty cool. Um, but this, this you have to uh, use um, in these capturing races to, to compute you know, these very direct confrontational ones. Uh, but if, let put some stones back here. Let me change this slightly. Let's uh, put that there. Uh, this is going to actually exemplify something we should have talked about when this was here, but a little bit better. How many liberties does white have? Looks like five. It looks like five, but in reality, it's really three. So when you have these situations where you have a big eye versus a small eye, these liberties always go to the big eye. And the reason is because uh, black doesn't have to capture this until these are filled in. And so black never has to fill them in. And if black, and this is what I was kind of saying before, like black in certain situations it effectively is like infinite liberties because white will never have enough time to fill in, you know, all the shared liberties uh, to force this thing into Atari. And so this big fat dumpling can just sit here forever. And uh, you know, some of my favorite part, parts of Go is where one of the players makes a big eye that's not alive, uh, but then uh, the player who, who forced the, their opponent into having the big eye has to defend all these weak groups on the outside. And if any one of them get captured, the whole thing falls, the game is over, right? The person with the big eye wins. And if they, if they all live, then the big eye will eventually die. But usually the big eye has so many liberties, like you can never just start a capturing race, right? You have to just keep defending all these groups on the outside. Very exciting. So yeah, we have a big eye versus small eye. And even, this doesn't have to be a, a one space. A small eye would even just be a four space. If you had a four space with, um, you know, versus a five space, that's already a big eye versus small eye. The same rule applies. Does that make sense? So if you're going to get involved in the capture race, you want to make at least one eye. Or always make two eyes. If you can make two eyes, just make two eyes. <laughs> if you can't make two eyes, make one eye. Uh, or if there's not going to be very many shared liberties, just get as many liberties as you can on the outside. So that's that's sort of how you should go down the sequence. Uh, but a big eye is always valuable in the small eye, so if you get a big eye, get the big eye before the small eye. Just keep expanding your eye space. Even if your opponent can pop out your eye space, it doesn't matter, you're going to get a lot more liberties, right? Going from 5, 8 to 12 to 17 is a huge, you know, like, that's that's an exponential growth kind of, or ge at least geometric growth. Well, I don't know. Is it geometric? Yeah. yeah. Because it's n minus 1, n minus 2, divided by 2, plus 2. But wouldn't geometric be 5, 8, 11? What's 5, 8, 11, 14? It's polynomial. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the variables being raised to an exponent, not. Right, so it should be exponential growth, growth right? Uh, that would First, be no? 2 to the end. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, great. I didn't study math. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know what geometric means either, honestly, when it comes down to it. Geometric just means multiplicative. It's not right. exponential. Right. 
I thought. But apparently I'm wrong. All right, good. Like I said, I promised you guys this was gonna get real delusional. <laughs> not, not right. Hey, Dan. <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's do another one. This is kind of similar. See if you guys can work out this bottom one. Who's going to win that capturing race? Or is it first to move? Looks like black has eight. And good, how'd you get seven. it? Yes, good. So how'd you get eight? So eight is if white plays to fill that outside liberty, black will have to play once on the inside, so good. that effectively doesn't count as a liberty. And then you said that- All right, no, no, this is way too much work. Can we go to the heuristics? Shortcut, super shortcut. There you go, 12 minus five to seven, plus one. Ah, yeah, you were working way too hard. I didn't like it. <laughs> so eight, and white has how many liberties? This you actually have to work, so you have to count. Seven. Seven. Is there any way for white to win this? Black Tanuki's twice. Black would have to play Tanuki twice, so no. Never, never going to win. So that's cool. Let's talk about Co. Because everybody loves Co's. It's the best thing. <laughs> and here, first, first try to figure this out, and then I'll tell you some heuristics for dealing with Co's in these capturing races. So yeah, who's going to win this? Or what is the result of this capturing race? If black plays first, what is the result if white plays first? Just compute that. Who, win, who wins and who play, if white wins, if white plays first? Uh, well, I'm just reading black plays first, and I'm still having white win, so. Yeah. Mm. Are you sure? Yeah. No, because he can take back the. Oh, like yes! Out. If white plays first, it's cut. Like, he doesn't even need a co threat, he just needs to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, need, he needs a co threat. All right, so black plays first. Can I play here? No. Co? But it's Co. And so what okay, black? Yeah, you're right, you're right. So black, black would, let's say, play a Co threat. White responds. Black takes back. And you're like, ah, this, this isn't a real liberty. Like, white still can't approach here, right? But that's where you're wrong, because it's Co. Uh, if if uh, white makes a Co threat, Black doesn't need to keep fighting the co if he ignores the threat, he can finish that way. And so I can take the co back and then do it that way. So I guess the lesson there is don't take the co first until the last minute. To take yeah, it. don't take the co until last. Okay. That's not always true, but it's true often. Here, so let's go back to here. So if black plays first, it is co. If white plays first, what is it? Is this the original position? That doesn't feel right. Yeah, it was black. Black has this. I did. Yes. If white plays first, what happens? It looks like white can just win. White can just wins. That's right. Yeah. So what's the heuristic? Well, how many liberties does white have? One, two, three, not shares and Yeah, that's what we're interested in. We're interested in the so when I say liberties in these capturing races, I specifically mean the non shared ones. Three. Right. So three. How many does black have? Point co. We're gonna say two in a fraction. Two in a fraction. 
multiplying to get a fraction? Because it's it's just how the math works, because of the co. It's like two and a bonus, maybe not a fraction. But it's like a bonus two. So the co-liberty counts as one point something? It's sort of effectively like one point something, yeah. I think if you want to think of it as like one point one, sure. Maybe it's closer to one point five. I actually don't know which fraction it would be. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> So basically it's a tiebreaker when you're tied, but does not help if you're behind. If you're behind, yeah, it, can't, it can't get you to the next, uh, yeah. yeah, exactly, right? It can't, it can't over, help you overcome someone if you're behind, but if you can get it to a tied state, then yes, then that would be enough to win it. Or at least force it to go. Uh, and <clears throat> you can kind of see that, right? Because if white has three liberties and black has two liberties, but it's white to play first, well, that's that like three to two white gets to play that always works in favor uh, of white but if we have two to three and black gets to play first well three to two is going to become two to two right and then one to two and then one to one but then that co matters when you get down to that last one is that would that would this do the same thing i'm having trouble visualizing it if they had two shared liberties on the inside mm, so you want to do like like You want to do this. Sure. All right, so now, now we're in a different situation because we have more than one liberty on the inside. So someone doesn't have to die. So now we have to go to underdog rules. Oh, OK, OK. And uh, who's the favorite here? White. That's right. So we would give white one, two, three, plus one liberty for four. Black has one, two, plus two for four, but a little bit bonus. Actually, this is pretty interesting, right? Because we have a four, four tie. But black has a little bit more. So this is, should actually be better for black. Yeah, white can't kill time. We can try, though. You want to try? <laughs> so white, black. Looks like co. Now black needs a co threat. So now it's, now it's co. Uh, if white plays first, right? I think white played first. Yeah. I hope. That's the only way this makes sense. Oh man, what was in here? This, this. And if black plays first, it's just over. I think. One, two, one, two. Oh, actually, it's choice, right? So white can't ever kill. So white has to play kill. And so it's either Seki or uh, black and kill. It's co for yeah, Seki. It's co, it's co for Seki or co for death for black. Right. Huh. So it's the, 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 the uh, co allows you to overcome that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. So the result here to summarize: uh, black can either well, if, if white plays first, white can kill and co. If black plays first, black will never die, um, but he'll either get a Seki or he'll kill and co. That little fraction. It's that, that's that weird fractional part of a co that helps out. So your co's are, are, you know, these little extra bonus things. Uh, if black has, uh, sorry, if, let's say white starts with a co. In these other examples, right, I had black, I actually have a liberty there. How do you compute this? Like, what is, how many liberties does white have, uh, does black have? Three and a bonus, yeah. And how many does white have? Like it's four. It's four, yeah. It's, it's the three, right? Plus that bonus when we talked about in these these Seki capturing races. Uh, so this favors this favors white, but not by a lot, right? Really, black has this bonus one, so it's like three and a fraction of four. So favoring white. Uh, if white plays first, here's how this plays out. Uh, if white just wants uh, to finish it, play on the co, uh, and it's Seki, right? If white wants blood, then we have to play this. And white needs a co-threat, otherwise, and if the threat is no good, black will finish it.
So white plays first. Uh, white has a choice to make Seki or kill. Where did white go after black to Ko? Uh, I, mean, I think Ko threat. I just pretended there was an unresponded Ko threat. But couldn't white just fill the other shared liberty and... Yeah, that's what I did here. Two left. Yes, and that's what I think I did. <coughs> so here it is. Uh, I think that was it, right? So uh, but white had four previously, four liberties. One, two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, one. How many did black have? Was it three and a fraction, right? One, two, three fraction. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So four to three and a fraction. I don't remember if this is the exact shape, but it's the same liberty yeah. count. Yep. So in this case, you don't count the extra bit for the white. Hmm? In this case, you don't count the extra bit for the white. This, this, this is still the black's advantage. Because this is this is a way for black to essentially gain an, another exclusive liberty. So that's why we give a fraction of a liberty for for black to this. But it's not a full liberty. It's like you know some fractional part of liberty. Uh, so this is why we count one, two, three, plus a bonus for black here on this liberty count. And here we give one, two, three, and then the inside bonus for white. Can we play that already? Yes. So if white plays first, white can white has the choice between Seki and Ko. Uh, if white uh, Oh, this is even worse. I don't think white would ever choose Seki here, right? I just messed up. Why was this so... This is a slaughter. Did I screw this up? Yeah, that's what I missed last time around. Oh. All right, white had one too many liberties. Oh, because white was already up a liberty, right? It was four, it was four to three, and then white four played three first. And a half, yeah, so it was four, yeah, so that's instead. Yeah. Four to three and a half, four to three and a half, and the person who has four moves first. So we do need to take away one more for this to be somewhat fair. All right, last time. We're going to do it. <laughs> one. Oops, no, that's not there. One, two, three for black and a fraction. One, two, three for white. If white plays first, so it's like, it's like a, white has slightly, almost a full liberty advantage, right? This is, Potentially because of that, that he doesn't. White plays there, black play there. White has the choice now. This is the choice I was talking about that I tried to get to before and I failed. If white fills this in, what's the result? Seki. If white plays here, what does black do? Ko. White makes a ko threat. If black doesn't respond, Black plays there and finishes it. All right, and now this code doesn't matter because black will kill. Okay? So that's if white plays first. White has a choice, right? Because it was four to three and a fraction. No, sorry, it was three to three and a fraction. White playing first. Oh man, this is gonna be a sloppy, sloppy lesson. Uh, what if black plays first? Because right now it's three to three and a fraction. And again, black has the advantage, right? Black has the advantage. Can we still give him the inside liberties if he's going? If he's has the advantage. The, the, the uh, so so depends if you think you're the underdog or not. <laughs> if you are trying to kill, uh, and it's three tied three to three. You have to give two liberties to your opponent and one to yourself. So if we think we're going to kill, uh, black really has one, two, and a fraction. White has one, two, three, four. We don't think we're going to kill that. <laughs> <laughs> we're really just playing on this suck eater. Uh, but. Uh, white still has a choice? No, white doesn't. Uh, well, white, so black play here is the last move, right? Yeah. If white fills this in, it's over. What is it? Seki. That's what we expected. White has a choice, though, with a co. When it gets to this situation, 
Well, I could say, eh. Play somewhere else. And so what is white challenging black to do? Take, but then have to win a co multiple times? Uh, just once. Right? Oh, no, you do have to, uh, yeah, you do have to. Um, if white wanted black to take that co, wouldn't it have filled yeah. it inside Liberty? Never mind. It looks like just win the co once. Uh, all, all black has to do is win the co once, right? Yeah. So white gets two co once. So, so white, white, well, black takes, white plays an another move away, so white's now played twice away, and now black can play here to finish. And that finishes. So white can decide, right, that this, this group is, is worth essentially uh, two moves and then the next move, right? Because after black finishes, white gets another move. So white can take three moves for letting that die. That's cool. Uh, let's back up a little bit. So, so we better have like five, uh, three five-point moves then, if he's going to justify losing that. Yes. Because he could have got second. That's right. Uh, he could have just ended a second. Yeah. Uh, although for for um for white to end it in second, white also has to take Gote. That's right. true. So, so that's gives you the third move. Yeah, right? yeah. You know what I mean? It just feels bad. <laughs> it just feels bad. It just feels bad. You're like, I could have taken three moves elsewhere. Or I could just make Seki. Uh, yeah. So, goes a negotiation. That's, uh, that's part of it. Should we contemplate this? So here's the thing, I would look at this, and I would not read it out, I would just go, Seki, Seki, <laughs> Seki. I don't, I don't see any way this is Seki. <laughs> uh, and part of the reason why I say it's Seki is because if black takes one co, what is white going to do? Take the other. Yeah, there's the other co. Actually, white's gonna, they're gonna fill in these liberties first. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. So here, let's play this a little better. Black, white. Oh no, something dangerous is gonna happen. It's gonna be brutal. White takes. Black takes. Can black now take again, or does he have to do it? No, no, it's, it's rule of co, you can't take back. Right, 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 no, but I mean, can't the other one. Because that would be repeating. So white could fill this co. Yes. But, right? Yeah. And challenge, now, now once white has filled that co, now we're challenging, we're saying, okay, we're ready to like rumble here. Because if you let me take this co, right. now it's co for the group. But if white fills that co, black can just fill this co. And so we go back to Seki. In general, a pretty, a pretty good rule of thumb is that as long as there's at least two liberties on the inside, if you and your opponent have the same resources available to you, namely liberties and or number of co's, this is Seki. This is Seki. You're done. Go play somewhere else. Uh, so that's pretty fun, though. You get these double codes happening, you take, I take. And then you get the, the players who are really insistent, who are like, I'm gonna fight this co. I'm gonna go make a co threat. And you're like, okay. So you respond. And you're like, yeah, I took the co back. <laughs> but. You just take the other You just take the other co. <laughs> I don't know if the other players haven't figured it out yet. They're like, yeah, I'm gonna make another co threat. I definitely had someone do that like four times to me. Oh yeah, just wait for the code threats. Four times in a row, then they resigned when they realized that <laughs> it's double co. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you, if you had a two-stage co, though, would you be able to? Oh, okay, that's different. <laughs> you mean like a co that leads to another co here? Yeah, like that kind yeah, of yeah, stage. So, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's different. That's very different. I I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole too far because <laughs> I don't have any heuristics for that at that point. That's <laughs> just mess. that's just read it out. Uh, so anyway, let's recap some things. Uh, capturing races, if we have no eyes versus no eyes, what do you have to know? Uh, if there are two shared liberties, you can figure out the underdog, mm -hmm. and, or any number of shared liberties that's greater than one, and then give all those to the underdog, Good. plus one more to the overdog. Good. So in this case, who's the underdog? No one. 
So if they're tied and there's two shared liberties, you're done, it's Zeki. Uh, what if it is not two liberties? One or fewer. It's just a capture and race. Just capture and race, you count exclusive outside liberties. Four, four. Oh god, whoever plays first wins the game. Very intense. Uh, if we have an I and our opponent doesn't, all shared liberties belong to the I. Good. How many does White have? Seven. Seven. This is over. Black has no hope. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Having an I and having your opponent eye, having no I is fantastic. I highly recommend it. Uh, does the size of the I matter? Not in this case. This still basically counts the small i. Uh, and this, of course, if we have this here, this still actually kind of counts the small i, as long as your opponent has that point. What if we have this one? This is a big i. And big i's are the ones that need to be recaptured over and over again. And so once you get to that big i stage, as long as your i is bigger, all these inside liberties belong to you. So, yeah, question. With the warning that if they have a group inside your eye, it can get really awful and weird. Oh, you mean like another eye inside yeah, your yeah. eye? Yeah, if they have a group oh, that yeah. has an eye inside your eye, then it's a mess. Uh, I, I don't want to do here a six for that. Yeah, 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 it's it get done. But as long as it looks like that, or you know, they just got a bunch of stones that don't have an eye. Then oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, just, let's just pretend they're sloppy stones that just can die. <laughs> die silently. <laughs> die silently. <laughs> Not put up a fight. We're just gonna die. Be great. Uh, how many liberties does this space have? A four space. Five. Five. I do that with holding my stone in my hand. Let me see myself. No. Nope. Gotta throw it back. I can do that. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah. Five. No. Nope. <laughs> five. How many does a five space have? Eight. How many does a six space have? 12 and for a 7 space. If you can make an 8 space eye that collapses into a non living shape, I applaud you. <laughs> and actually, it, do, it actually does exist in the corner, but, in, but if, you do, if you do get an 8 space that doesn't live in the corner, it's also going to. There's a bunch of recapturing stuff that happens that the heuristic actually doesn't apply. Am I allowed to fill it in? Because then I would just make two fours of it. In the I don't want to think about it. Yeah. But, uh, I believe it's possible, but it has to, like it involves the one one point and like white retarding the one one point and then collapsing that into a seven and then there. Like you have to you have to have the situation where where white can actually make an eye, right? And then you have to capture that, and then the eye that white made has to be able to be retarded and recaptured again to get it down to the the next one. Don't worry about it. If you want to go go home and figure it out, you know, that's awesome. I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm definitely not in the mental condition for this. Uh, anything else? Co's? What does a co count as as far as liberty? Bonus. It's a little bonus. And if you have the space, then you get the liberty and a little bonus. And if you don't have it, then it's just a little bonus. It's so like this little spot for black is just a little bonus, not actually a full liberty. If you have multiple codes, that can be fun. Um, I actually don't know the heuristic if, if black has multiple half point cos, what they all count as. I suspect it's like the number of cos plus one liberty. Maybe someone can actually do the math and figure that out. I don't think they, they don't convert into full liberties, I think. I think they convert into like. No, they have to, though. Well, okay. Right, they have to. Some, if, you have multiple, if you have multiple half point cos, at some point your opponent can either take a co or just fill in a co. Right. right. And so if there's enough cos. They'll always have the option to just fill one in. So right, but the but the idea is that you can f if you can start filling in the codes, then you can reduce. Right, and that's what I'm saying. They do convert, but I don't yeah. know what the. I, I, I'm guessing it's like n plus one, but it still leaves you with like one code at the end or two codes at the end, so you still have this little bonus that can work out. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's my little hu attempt at heuristics for capturing races. You guys want to get into some like some epic board fights? It's two dragons just having no eyes and just 